Hello Zany friends and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about Wilder Girls. Um, and this is by Rory Power. I wanted to show you the book's cover because it is gorgeous, but it is a little glossy. So also I don't want to sit here and hold the book up the whole time. So I'm just going to put a picture of the cover right here. So Wilder Girls. Wilder Girls is kind of like a young adult horror book. I got it actually in a swap from a, a book club that I'm in where they send the books along to different people. You can request it and then, you know, once one person's done, it goes to the next person on the list. And that's how I got it. It did come out last year. I was very intrigued because it sounded kind of like a Lord of the Flies horror <laughs> story. And that's exactly what it was. It's about these uh, girls that are in a boarding school on an island. And there isn't anything on this island except for like a naval base and them. And they are mutating. They're sick. They call it the tox. And it happened like over the course of the year. So some of the girls die and some of them like have these weird mutations where like maybe their hand has scales or maybe there's an extra spine on their back. Um, there's a lot of blood and gore in this, but like... It's not like slasher really, it's just the, the nature of the mutation that they have. There are two adults there, and what's really strange about all of this is it seems like it's only women that are on this island, like there's no men. And it, it, that is part of the story as it plays into it, but then some of the girls start disappearing and they don't know where they go or why. So part of it is that some of the girls are trying to figure out what happened to their friends when they disappeared. And, you know, that is the story. It is very, very interesting. It is an interesting story. It is written so descriptively and so beautifully that even with the gory parts of it, I still read it in a day. Like that was another day. I had a really bad week with migraine, so I got a lot of reading done. And that day I happened to be home all day long and I read the whole book in one day and I thought it was really interesting and very beautiful and, and just, it also is a story of friendship and uh, what you will do for the people in your life. I gave it four stars just because of how it was written. I probably won't read it again because I feel like there were some grosser parts in it, but like, I mean, even the cover is just so beautiful. Like you can tell it is, it is really beautiful. So I do recommend this book a lot. Um, if you like kind of like horror books, um, then you'll probably will like this one a lot. If you have other recommendations in this genre, please leave them below because I would love to know other books that you think are similar and that I would like. And I really would love to read some of your recommendations as well. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay zany.